Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Don O'Dell's Legends. My name is Art Tapaldi. I'm the editor of Blues Music Magazine. This is our current issue, which was just printed and mailed out to subscribers. If you're interested in any of our in subscribing to this magazine to help keep us alive, check us out at bluesmusicmagazine.com or check out our Facebook page. Now tonight on Don O'Dell's Legends, we have one of the real mainstays of New England blues for maybe the past 30, 35, maybe 40 years. Uh, Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones. We're sitting here tonight now to discuss uh, New England blues, all things blues, with the great Sugar Ray Norcia, harmonica player, Thank you, uh, Art. vocalist, songwriter. Um, but before we talk about the Blue Tones, you know, as a unit, mm -hmm. uh, you have a, a brand new record out this year called um, Living, living tear, to tear to Tear, Living Tear to Tear on the Severin label. And this album has got six Blues Music Award nominations this year. Yes. You guys are nominated for Band of the Year, Entertainer yes. of the Year, no, Album of the Year. With Band of the Year. Yeah. yeah. Album yeah. of the Year. You're, yeah. Traditional. Uh, traditional. Uh, and and uh, Mudcat, your bass player, Mudcat Ward is bass player, nominated as a bass player of the year yes, with five. That would, so that would make seven. Altogether. I counted if, six. If you count I counted Mudcat. six. Yeah, and, and and actually everybody in the band could have been nominated yeah, in those instrumental yeah, categories. Yeah, yeah. The last record you had out was that Evening. Yes. That one had five nominations. Yeah. What what do you attribute this amazing successful run of the Blue Tones mm. this cr to, to the critics who nominate and the, thus the fans? What do yeah. you attribute this to? This recent. I think it's refreshing mm. to hear the real deal. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't bastardize the music at all. We play it like it was originally intended to be played. And right. write, of course, write our own songs. Yeah. But keep it in that vein yeah. of traditional blues. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, it awakens a lot of ears. So it's, yeah. it's pleasant to hear something that's, that's real these days instead of uh, more uh, rock orientated. Right, right. And, uh, now, with all these originals that you do, how do you <laughs> write songs today that seem to come from some other era? I mean, you've got six on this album. Yeah. You've got a Song of the Year song nominee the on year. this album. I yeah. think you had one on the last. I was, did. In the last album, Song of the Year. I did. Yeah. You're writing today, but this stuff sounds like it came from another era. How do you uh, do that uh, as a writer? Uh, uh, well, I keep I keep the uh, subject matter current. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you notice, and yeah, I, I yeah, try to write true. from from uh, personal experiences. Things could be worse. Is the song that's up. Uh, for a nomination for Song of the Year. Yeah, it's and, a uh, great song. Yeah, the lyrics to that. I have a friend who uh, has had a run of bad luck mm -hmm. health-wise, mm -hmm. you know, and he's always got a, a great attitude, you know, but he had cancer and uh, open-heart surgery. Right. He's paralyzed from the waist down. Oh, boy. Hey, I could go on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's one of the happiest people I know. Right. You know, so I'm all, when I leave him, I'm always going, you know, my car wouldn't start this morning. Things could be worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I yep. banged my finger. Things yep. could be worse. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's how that song came to be. Right, you know, right. Of, so I try to keep it in the in the personal experience because mm -hmm. if you're telling the truth, yeah, it seems to, that somebody else will, will, will you'll connect. They'll connect with it. Sure. Yeah. So you write the words, and then the music, like I said, also seems like you know, like you say, we play the old school. Mm. Um, how do you keep the music fresh and not sound cliched? Oh, here it comes again, the yeah, yeah. one, four, five. I know. I, I, it's not intentional. I yeah. mean, uh, somebody said to me about, again, about things could be worse. Man, mm -hmm. I mean, he, he had to do some research to see if Willie Dixon wrote that song. Really? Yeah, because <laughs> he, he, he couldn't have written that one. Yeah. I mean, that's right out of the Willie Dixon song. I said, I wasn't, no. Uh, I wasn't thinking of him, him at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure subconsciously he's inside of me. Sure, and, sure. Because uh, I've sung You've, so many lyrics that's written right. by Willie Dixon and songs by him. Yeah. But, and in that particular one, I was just playing with my chromatic harmonica mm -hmm. and uh, and thinking of some lyrics and writing them down. And uh, and I was singing a lyric and then backing the lyric up yeah. with my chromatic harp. Uh huh. Because normally I use a piano or a guitar. Okay. But this time I just had the harmonica. Right. And it, it was like a call and answer thing. Yeah. And it ended up staying that way, even right. in the studio. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so, I mean, it just, something, it just came from yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you, you know, you have such a professional unit, too. Yeah. I mean, these are, these are accomplished, lifetime. Right 
time musicians. You got Mudcat Ward on bass, you got Anthony on piano, little Anthony, yeah. you got Mike Welsh on guitar, Neil Govan on drums. Yes. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about the history of the blue tones in New England, how it all started? Yeah, we only have, what, half hours? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you but, just get us through the early 80s? Yeah, okay. No, but I went to school with Neil, Neil mm -hmm. Gouvin, the drummer. Yeah. So we've been playing together, you know, uh, over 40 years. Wow, wow. Uh, so, we, and we've been pals. And, yeah. Uh, he introduced me way back there in the, in the early 80s. He got a phone call to, to sit in with this uh, guitar player mm -hmm. named uh, Ronnie Youngblood Horvath. You okay, know, yeah. Mudcat Ronnie. Ward. Uh -huh. <laughs> in Providence. And he said, you know, he, he called them up and said, uh, I could do the gig at the Met Cafe in Providence, uh, but I, I, I've been working with this singer since uh, junior high school. Right. Uh, his name is Sugar Ray Narcia, and do uh, you mind if I bring him along? Uh huh. No, oh, sure, sounds good. Plays harp too. All right. right. Yeah. You know, that right after that first few notes right. at the Met Cafe. So oh, boy. We looked at each other and went, oh, something's happening here. Yeah. This yeah. is good. And that's when it started to be called Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones. Mm -hmm. You know, then, then there's a lot of history after that. With sure. Ronnie Earl going to Room Full of Blues and yeah. myself. But the core feeling in, uh, of, of the Blue Tones mm -hmm. has always been there, even though I took seven years off. To when play you were with, with Room Full. Room Full of Blues. Right, in right. In the 90s. Yes. Yeah. We were always going, ah, we gotta, it's just like the, the movie. We've got to get the band back together. Yeah, get the yeah. Band back together. So there were no blue tones then during that seven-year period when you were with Roomful? Correct. Yeah. I was playing 250 dates a year. Wow. So on one-nighters, you know. Right, with, with right. Roomful and, mm -hmm. and uh, making records. Yeah. Uh, so uh, busy times. Yeah. When did, little, uh, when did Anthony join in? Yeah, a little while later, after uh -huh. that episode I told you about yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in Providence, uh, I think Ronnie and Mudcat went to see uh, Muddy Waters at the, uh, uh, one of the clubs in Boston, mm -hmm. uh, Jazz Workshop, okay. I can't remember what, exactly yeah. which one. And Anthony was opening up, Anthony Girassi, right. little Anthony, yeah, yeah. was opening up for him in some local band. Right. And he went, hey, that cat can play the piano, he plays, he's got some older span, he's, he's, he's coming from the right place. Yeah. And he was going to Berkeley, so. Okay. Uh, he wasn't going to Berkeley much longer. Much longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he went from, he always says like he went from writing sonnets to, uh, <laughs> to playing the blues with Ronnie Earl and Sugar Ray yeah. and Mudcat. Yeah. And through the 80s, uh, what was the blues scene like that you guys were, were playing? Was it pretty much locally Boston or was it more New England states? Through the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we played Boston. We also played, uh, you know, Providence, Providence and New sure. York. and. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Baltimore and Virginia. Okay. Uh, we, had, we, we had a lot of work down here in Charlottesville area. Yeah, and yeah. Colleges and all yeah. that. A and and you Richmond, had, Virginia. And you know. had recordings with um, Bullseye. Yes, yeah. back there. Rounder. Yes. How many records do you remember came out on Rounder? I that think it was three. Thing? I could be wrong. No. Okay. That's not bad, though, in, in maybe, what, 10 years? Yeah. To have three records and all this touring and everything. Touring. And we, we'd venture out to the West Coast uh, occasionally. Mm -hmm. We weren't really a... Uh, so-called national act touring band yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, you were pretty much then a, I don't want to say regional, but you were an East Coast yes. band yes. with with its roots in Boston. Is that fair to say? Because that's where Ronnie was from and uh, and Mudcat. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so when people ask me when I'm in Europe or somewhere, if I tell them I'm from Exeter, Rhode Island, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> even Providence, I, I know. know. Boston, oh yeah, we oh, heard of that. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Are you from Mass? We're from Massachusetts, and they give you a question mark. You know, yeah. Boston. Oh, Boston. Oh, of course. I know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Know. yeah. Um, you've had a revolving guitar chair in the band. Yes. You know, Ronnie Earl, uh, Kid Bangham. Mm -hmm. Duke play in the band at all? No, for a uh, not officially. Okay, uh, yeah. He's done gigs with yeah, us yeah. and stuff. Uh, um, but, but the core... All size. Uh-huh. Um, oh, wow. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, um, like, there's a couple more now I'm right, missing. Right, right. They'll come to me in a minute. But man. the core band has been together. Yes. You know, you, Mudcat, Anthony, Neil. What are the strengths of those guys? We call that, that the nucleus. The nucleus, I know. Yeah, yeah. What are their strengths that, that you've... Yeah, almost telepathically working together mm -hmm. as a unit without yeah. having to think about it too much. Yeah. Uh, they're just uh, in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, 
even if you're not a great player, who, are, who they are great players. Sure, but sure. But I mean, if you play that together for that long, yeah. year after year after year, yeah, you kind of become you know each other. It's like being married to someone. Right, where right. You can they'd be thinking of something and you say it. You know, yeah, say, yeah. So that's yeah. The, musically, that's how we do it. Right, and 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 they're 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 so knowledgeable in so many styles. Yes. That I would imagine they're they're it's a comfort to know that. They're always underneath whatever you're going to do or whatever mm -hmm. Mike's going to do. Yeah, you know, Mike is something else. Well, that's Mike what I was going to ask you. Yeah, Since Mike. 2008 now, yeah. you know, he's really. I think he's really helped elevate the band's yeah. appeal, mm -hmm. uh, style, etc. Yes. What, what's he brought to the band? Yeah, he. Uh, he well, you mentioned it. he knows all the styles. Uh, not that I tried to, but I couldn't stump him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, night after night, I'll think of reach way back in the bag of tunes. We know hundreds of songs. Sure. And he's right there. Well, he's doing the right thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, musically and you know, on that guitar behind it. Yeah. And for that matter, also when I'm writing songs, mm -hmm. he comes up with these fresh. I don't even realize it at the time till right. I'm listening to the playback. You know, could be months later. I'm going, oh man, Mike. He just he really complimented. With this guitar line yeah, behind yeah. my vocals, and he's, he consciously is thinking of trying to do the right thing right, behind right. the vocals, because we all agree as a band that number one is the vocals, yeah, you know? yeah. not it's, the harmonica, not the guitar, right, right, but the storyteller. Yeah, you know? and you're the storyteller. Yeah, and you come with such a, a throwback voice as you tell these stories. What's your history as a vocalist? Where mm. does where did where do your vocal roots and influences lie? Yeah, that has to go back to my family, mm -hmm. musical family. Yeah. Aunts, uncles. Okay. My dad was a vocal coach uh -huh. and a music teacher in the uh, junior high school level. Right. Uh, so, and he gave lessons at the house, so I'd be, always be sitting around watching him give these students advice. Right. And teaching them. And my mom was a singer of jazz uh -huh. uh, in, in the 40s. Yeah. Wow. Uh, my brother's a singer. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah, right. But when right. my dad came home from work, you know, he'd get out of the car and, and you could hear him before your song. Uh -huh. He's uh -huh. always singing, you know, yeah, singing yeah. down the sidewalk. Right. You see the neighbor out in the yard and he'd wave and sing, and you know. Sing a hello. It's a glorious day. Yeah, yeah. He was a passionate man. Right. That all rubs off. That's it's in right. the genes. That's right. That's right. And when I went to school, you know, we mm -hmm. had school plays yeah. and they're looking for somebody to take the lead part or mm -hmm. to be able to sing and act. I was always like, yeah, yeah. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah.